Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about operators in JavaScript and this is going to be very easy and very interesting. So in JavaScript we have different type of operators. We have arithmetic operators, assignment operators, comparison, logical type and bitwise operators. So we are going to learn about all this and before we go to the practicals let us see what is an operator. An operator is a symbol that usually represents an action or a process. For example, if I say let sum equals 10 plus 20, here we have equals which is a assignment operator and plus which is a arithmetic operator for addition. So this is what an operator is in a very easy way. Now we have all these operators. In this session, I am going to start with arithmetic operator. In JavaScript, we have different arithmetic operators like addition and the symbol is plus, subtraction, the symbol is minus sign, then we have multiplication, the symbol is the star sign, division, symbol is forward slash, and then we have percentage, which is a symbol for modulus or remainder of division, and double star represents exponential operator, then we have double plus symbol which is for increment operator and double minus symbol for decrement operators. So now I will go to my Visual Studio code and I will go to the Explorer window and here we have already created these scripts earlier. So I will go to this new script or new file and I will name this as operators.js and press enter and I have got my script here and I will also add a heading. I will use this comments and say this is arithmetic operators and here if I say let x equals 10 and I say let y equals let me say let x equals 5 and y equals 2 let us use some small numbers first and now if I say let result equals x plus y. So here I have used this addition operator plus and I am doing x plus y which is 5 plus 2 and I will print the result as well. So I will say console.log and I will just print out the value of result and I will save this. I will press control s or command s on my keyboard and hit the run button and here you can see I am getting the result as 7. I can also add some statement here so I can just say here result is and then I can use a plus symbol here. Now plus is a concatenation operator here because it is used with string. So here it is used as a concatenation operator. I will save and run this again and you can see here it is saying result is 7. So in place of my plus if I use minus this is now subtraction. If I run this I should get the subtraction result and I am getting 3 here. If I use multiplication and the symbol is star and I will run my program again and here I am getting the result of multiplication. I can use a single forward slash which is a division operator. So this will give me the quotient of 5 divided by 2 and I am getting the quotient here which is 2.5. Now just in case I need the remainder I can use the modulus operator which is represented by this percentage symbol. So this will give me the remainder of this division 5 divided by 2 which is 1 and let me just check again. This is percentage and yes I am getting the result as 1. So this was about division and then we also have exponential this was modulus and if I say double star this is exponential operator and this means x raised to the power y. So in this case this will be 5 raised to the power 2 and if I run this now I should get the result as 25 and let me just check this again. So here I'll run this again and let us see the output and yes I'm getting the result as 25. So this was exponential operator and then we have increment and decrement operators as well. So let us understand this. If I say let a equals 10 and then I say a plus plus. So this is a increment operator and I am doing a post increment. So I can also say plus plus a this is pre increment or I am using a prefix or I can say 
A++. Now I will explain the difference about this post increment and pre increment in a moment. For now, if I just say I want to print the value of A, so I will say console dot log and I will say A, or I will say here value of A is, and I will run this. So here we have assigned value to A as 10 and then we have incremented which is a post increment. So if I see the result now you can see the value of A is now 11. I can also say plus plus A and that should also give me the same result. I will save and run this now and here you can see I am still getting value of A is 11. So what is the difference? So let us say if I say let Q equals 2 multiplied by a plus plus and then I will say I will just print out the value of Q I'm commenting out the statement to print the value of A and I'm just printing out the value of Q here so if I run this now let us see value of a is 10 and I am saying 2 multiplied by a plus plus so if I see the output I am getting the value of q as 20 that means it has still taken the value of a as 10 so in post increment the value is incremented after the operation so here it is still having the value as 10 and only after this operation the value is getting incremented so if I also print the value of a let us see this if I print the value of a I should be getting 11 here so here you can see I am getting 11 however when this expression was computed it was still 10 so we do not have an immediate increment in case of post increment however if I say plus plus a here which is pre increment I should have a immediate increment and the value here should be 2 multiplied by 11 and you can see here I am getting the value as 22 so that means this is pre increment you can similarly use decrement in the same way so this is pre decrement and here it should be 2 multiplied by 9 which is 18 and you can see the output is 18 so this is all about operators arithmetic operators in a very easy way in the coming sessions we are going to learn more about operators in a very easy and interesting way and I will explain you step by step how you can use all the operators in JavaScript I hope this session was very useful for you thank you for watching